So, some uh, history just from last week, lol history. But uh, Dill said that he made he lost 2-0 last week to Debuzz is Rosa, but he felt that both times they were entirely like. Uh, within the realm of possibility where like he didn't feel like he was completely disabled um, I'm saying this as he's getting like he's done 15 damage to D Buzz's 90, but you know, I'm just trying to report the news here uh, So let's see what Dill uh, has to say, you know, if he can apply any sort of mix that he wants to do That he spoke about as opposed to last week, but you know only gonna do 15 damage and lose his first stock the buzz is gonna get that up smash with that sneaky Luma. All right, so Dill's Dill's doing a much better job of like not getting hit. Uh, he's dealt a little bit more damage, but you know nothing ridiculous. One of the big changes that Rosalina made is that if you so much as breathe in Luma's direction, uh, Luma just dies. So you saw that he got hit by, like, I think the late part of Dill's fair. And Luma was just like, guess I'll die. And so he did. And then there's mad weird. But yeah, he was able to trade with it. Dill, like, jumped out of his shield. Uh, jumped out of his shield. When shield canceling the, uh, the gyro and did fair, and they did a little bit of trade. Uh, Dill still hasn't taken that first stock though, and uh, Debuzz is just, you know, Debuzz is definitely one of the most collected players in all of Smash. Period. You know, so like when he knows his situations, he knows his situations. He's not gonna like overextend in some ways. You only see struggling Debuzz is like. When like you're when you stuff him like the first n times, so Dill able to sneak in that up air uh, while recovering, uh, and you know she was at high enough damage and she's light enough that she's gonna die off the top there. Uh, Dill at a hundred, getting juggled a little bit. Now Rose's juggling got severely nerfed, but you know still you know definitely very capable character. And now. Like, if Dill wants to make any sort of comeback right now, he has to do it before losing this stock. He has to even up the percent at the very, very least, you know? Like, if I go out, I'm going to make sure I put you a kill percent when I come back so then I can, like, make something happen really quickly. But the buzz is just standing his ground. He knows when to retreat. He knows when to pull back, you know? And we're seeing... See, that's the thing. Every All this damage that he's doing on Dill right now almost means nothing. Almost means nothing. Because, like, until you get the kill, like, he did just there, you know, he was, like, already far past the line. It's like, yes, I get it. You're you can kill me with anything. Making me go from 180 to 190 doesn't make that any less true or more true, honestly. All right. So, Dill tried to stuff the recovery with down air. Uh, kind of understandable, you know, she has a literal line in a no hitbox recovery. Uh, I think the late hit did hit Luma, but it was actually surprisingly weak enough that Luma was just like, yeah, I'll tank that. The Dill gonna get an up air close to the ceiling of the stage, and now we have, uh, you know, last stock, really low percent, very even. So, Dill actually doing a really good job of, you know, bringing it back now. Question is, the last time it was really even was stock one at zero, and that's when the buzz built like 90 damage. And I think we're going to see a bit of a repeat of that. All right, still not going down with a fight without a fight. All right, great bait. And yeah, even it up right then. Ooh, avoiding the nair and actually hitting her with a really strong back air. Uh, his fair missed and her fair connected, and this might be... Nope. Uh, she mashed out extra early. So, I think if Dill wants to catch that, is that it? Nope. He heavy, heavy boy. Ha! <laughs> Bro, you gotta press something. Dill actually knows. He's like, man, I'm gonna laugh that off, because I gotta press something.
All right, so uh, the buzz takes game one. Now, what, what's he gonna get rid of? Rocking around, I don't really know. I need to lower my camera a little bit. All right, gonna get rid of Smashville and Town and City. Uh, uh, Smashville and Kalos. All right. Let's see what Dill's retort is. Town and City. So this has definitely been like a. Uh, a classic Dill counterpick. It's just the weird part is is that the stage is, you know, the blast zones have completely changed. So I can't even say that it's a classic counterpick by Dill because it's just like it's a whole different stage. You know, so if anything, it would be a new classic by the same name. Which, you know, that's not confusing at all. Regardless though, going game two, counterpick by Dill to Town and City. Uh Eating a quick 40 damage while only doing 10. Uh, last thing you want to do is have a 1 to 4 ratio in damage versus any one. Now we're at that 2 to 1. All right, getting a little bit closer here. Man, that down tilt. Hella annoying in that situation. Luma couldn't do anything because he just kept hitting Rosa. And you saw that, like, once Rosa finally got something, like, DeBuzz was definitely mashing that entire time. He was just like, I'm going to get you, I'm going to get you, I'm going to get you, I'm going to get you. But at what cost, DeBuzz? At what cost? Regardless, uh, fairly even percent, although uh, sizable, enough, sizable enough difference that you would still say DeBuzz is in the lead. Uh, he's definitely closer to like just landing a kill than Dill. Because uh, like right now, the percent isn't like high enough where Dill can actually get like any of those... like better kills with down throw so he has to deal a little bit more damage for that to happen whoa that was some actual tricky movement by dill there jumping up doing the gyro cancel and then air dodge down to quote unquote wave land uh like that was pretty good and uh, yeah, they're still on their first stock. Dill now well past the line of, doesn't matter what you hit me with now. Yes, I get it, you'll kill me, got it. And uh, yeah, Dill's just trying to, he's like, Luma, get off me, get out of here. I'm trying to recover. Bro, Luma makes so many like of the sounds that she did like when she dies now with like regular moves. So I was just like, why did she die? But no, she just did up smash. All right, so Dill ran out of gas, you know, that's the thing, like if you were able to edge guard Rob, um, you know, it's a waiting game. Just keep it up. You don't really need to force too much to happen. He doesn't charge gas on the ledge. So, you know, it's like, hey, keep him off and you should be fine. Because eventually he's going to lose. So that's what DeBuzz did. You know, it was just like being patient, keeping the game going, and ooh, ooh, ooh. Actually able to. My god. Do you ever take two multi hits to the face to finally die? So. Incredible tech by DeBuzz, uh, teching that arm rotor, which would have definitely killed him if he didn't. And then getting up aired, so Dill still able to take the stock. And while the percent were like not the worst when the buzz came back, uh, DeBuzz hasn't gotten touched since. So, God, dude, this juggle game. Bruce is back, baby. See that? He knocked uh, Luma into Tumble and then actually knocked her out of Tumble. That's that Smash 4 stuff right there. Alright, I kind of respect the uh, attempt. It's, it's definitely reaching, but I guess like when you do it that low, it's like maybe this will poke. But then even if it did, 
I feel like he would have just like fell through the platform. He would have like he never went above the platform. So like if he had carried her down, like he would have fell down and she would have stayed on the platform. So I don't think it'll work anyway. All right, still able to bring it back down to the last stock again. Um, I mean, I guess I kind of see what it means from like last week where he was just like, it feels doable. But right now, my magnet cannot land. All right, he's hitting uh, Luma with a three hit combo and trying to fight Rosa. 127 to low, I, I just don't, I don't like those odds here. All right, now we're getting to that percent where Rob can definitely just steal a kill. He'll be like, hmm, her, I got a grab. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, she's floaty, so that didn't really work. And still not dead yet. Town and city with the, you will live forever, my son. Oh. Still tried to hit him with the laser beams before the hit, but it didn't work out. Um, still is definitely beginning to bring it back, but... The buzz was definitely in control the entire set. Bump fists. Bump fists. Do it. No, Dale, don't you talk about the set. Hit the fist bump. I need a clip for the fist bump. What are you doing, Dale? Come on. Bump those knuckles. Bump the knuckies. Bump the knuckies. Unbelievable. Can't believe this. He walked away. 